What's up you guys, this is Coach Jacob with Cab Training here and in this video I'm going to give you guys three drills that I do practically on a weekly basis with the athletes that I train to help them improve their game speed. My definition of game speed is being able to explode and accelerate in multiple angles on the field at any time, any place. And so this video is going to be mostly focused on diagonal directional movements. And so the first drill I got for you guys is diagonal pogos. This is something that we do as part of our warm up. So what we do is we are balancing on one leg, let's just say our right leg, and we are jumping over an invisible line. I tell the players to envision an invisible line right in front of them and jump over and back over that invisible line with that right foot for 20 yards. Then we'll repeat that for 20 yards with the left foot. I like to do this just once every single day in the warm up, just to get the athletes ankles, foot, lower leg ready to push off in multiple planes of motion, right? We're always planting off the instep of our foot when we're exploding laterally. And so these diagonal single leg pogos are super effective in helping you improve that game speed laterally and diagonal. Drill number two is diagonal bounds. I am a huge bound guy. Bounds are basically when you're jumping from one foot to the other, and we're doing it diagonally on this drill. So we're jumping as far as we can and as high as we can from one foot to the other so we can explode in a diagonal direction. Um, I like to do these to enhance the post and corner routes of the athletes that I train, as well as just the overall elusiveness of the kids I train too, because we're always planting that foot and then making a 45 degree cut and so these really help just the overall force development and force absorption because when we're landing on that foot after going down, uh, uh, jumping diagonally, it is a lot of force that you have to put on that knee and the ankle. And so that helps us get ready to produce force in an extreme fashion on the field. Drill number three is a diagonal broad jump. This is just for overall diagonal power. And so this is probably the most advanced out of these three exercises, but it's just what I, uh, what basically the name speaks for itself. You jump at, just like you would at a broad jump, but you're jumping diagonally. And I like putting cones out just so they have a spot to jump at. Um, big key point here is to make sure our shoulders are square. Don't turn towards the cone here. I want you to keep your body square while jumping diagonally. That makes it a little bit more challenging and it adds a sense of coordination to our jumping to where we don't, we don't have to face the area that we're going to in order to produce force in that area. And that'll help us when trying to be elusive on the field and change direction on the field is because if we tell the defense where we're going with our hips and our eyes and our shoulders every single time, we're gonna be very predictable and not elusive. So being able to stay square while jumping in multiple directions is a super valuable trait for an athlete to have. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Before you guys click off, check out the description. It has the link to my online training program where you can find these three drills as well as hundreds of other drills and exercises to help you guys become better football players. Hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you guys like this video if you liked it and subscribe so you don't miss any more. Let's get better today.